Okay, today I'd like to show you my Fenzo lens. Um, basically, a Fenzo lens is flat. This one's plastic and is, is um, very flexible and light. These are the same lenses that are used in overhead projection projectors. And basically, the idea is, hopefully you can see those grooves in there, is that they're cut very much like a CD. So there's grooves that go in there, but each groove is cut at a slightly different angle to bend the light so that they'll focus in one spot. Primarily, they're made for uh, old people to be able to read, and that's where, how I found out about them. So, uh, if you look on uh, Amazon or something like that, that's what they're going to be uh, advertised for. So, you can read the newspaper or your mail, or in this case, uh, carbon monoxide hazard. I'll move that back and forth, and hopefully at some point it focuses correctly for the camera. The nice thing about these lenses is that they work in both directions. So they, they take a spot back here and focus it out so you can read it, but it also takes the sunlight and um, focuses it in one point. And just turning on the light here, you can see how, and it has three light bulbs in it, but you can see how it focuses each of those three light bulbs. So let me take it outside and show you how it works. Okay, beautiful sunny day here in Montana, about 20 degrees out, and I'm just going to uh, use this Frenzo lens, see if I can get some flames going, even with the uh, sun fairly low. Okay, in get the ready sky. for a fine example of hand placement and camera placement. Really? Let's try that again with a different camera angle. Okay, starting with some paper towel, because that actually starts up very quickly, um, almost as fast as I can get the light started on it. Okay, so there's some paper towel. Let's try it with some newspaper. For as good as Fire Tinder's newspaper is, I'm surprised that it starts fairly hard with the uh, Frenzo lens. It smokes for quite a while before it actually takes off. Um, it does actually burn, it's just the slowest of the three methods that I tried. Of course, all three of them would probably start a lot easier if I uh, wasn't trying to stay out of the way of the camera and could see when I had the light focused well. Okay, that takes, that's pretty quick. And since we'd probably always have it with us, let's try it with a little bit of toilet paper. So, that's actually pretty effective, very light, it doesn't even register on my scales, and it's uh, very flexible, easy to use. So, I thought you might enjoy that.